God is interested in you. Jesus told about the shepherd that had not, had a hundred sheep and one of them was missing and he left the night in nine and went after the one lost sheep. Are you the one lost sheep tonight? Are you the one that this whole crusade is all about tonight? Are you the one that all this prayer has taken place? All this planning has taken place? You tonight surrendered totally to Christ could be mightily used if you gave your heart and your life to Him. Yes, Jesus died for you. He died on the cross that you might come to know Him as Lord and as Savior. You say, but what do I have to do? It's very simple. He made it so simple that children can accept it. Made it so simple that the blind and the deaf and the dumb can come. Made it so simple that the educated can come. He said all you have to do is repent of your sins. That means that you're willing to change your way of living. It means that you tell God, God, I'm sorry. And mean it. And if you have to, go back and make restitution. Make right some of the things you've done wrong, all that you can. That's costly and it hurts, but that's repentance. Secondly, by faith, receive Him as Lord and Savior. Now, it happens simultaneously. You can't divide repentance and faith. They go hand in hand and arm in arm. Faith means that you put your full weight on Christ and trust Him as your Lord and Master and Savior, and you're not trusting in yourself, and you're not trusting anybody else to save you. And this is another mistake young people make, I think, many times, is depending for their Christian growth on fellowship with other young people, instead of getting into the Word of God themselves and praying themselves. You see, you should never be dependent on somebody else for your spiritual life. You depend totally on your own personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember an old evangelist wrote me one time and he said, I found that I got all the joy and happiness in my life out of the big meetings. And when the big meetings were over, I lost my joy and my happiness. Can you imagine that? He had missed his devotional life. He had missed his personal walk with God so much so that when his health declined and the meetings declined, his joy went. Because his joy was in the big crowds and all the fellowship that he had with other Christians. Don't put it there. Put it in Christ. God and God alone. Just you and God tonight. I'm going to ask you to receive him. Receive Christ into your heart. Make him your savior and make him your Lord. God be all the glory and God is all.